Chancellor of the University of the West Indies, Sir George Allain, Vice Chancellor of the University of the West Indies, Professor E. Nigel Harris, Distinguished Honorary Graduand, Diana Mahibia Wyatt and her family, Members of the Executive Management of the University of the West Indies, Honorable Minister of Science, Technology and Tertiary Education, Fazal Karim and Mrs. Karim, Her Excellency, the High Commissioner for Jamaica, Sharon Saunders, Her Excellency, the Ambassador for the Philippines, Jocelyn Batu Garcia, Members of the St. Augustine Campus Management, Public Orator, Professor Suraj Paul Tilaksing, Faculty of the St. Augustine Campus, Benefactors of the University of the West Indies, Parents, Friends, Well-wishers, Members of the Media, My Fellow Graduates, Good Morning. Good morning. Fellow Graduands, I congratulate you on this the day of our mass jailbreak from these halls. <laughs> I find myself honored to be able to stand before you today to present this address. And yet, I am made acutely aware of the challenge in presenting to such a diverse group as the Faculty of Social Sciences. So vast numerically, so dispersed, and yet this address should be inclusive of all. Unlike more compact faculties, SOSI students may walk radically different paths that rarely converge. I'm certain many of you are unfamiliar with me, much less acquainted. My address then will not touch on my own personal epiphanies, hilarities, or miseries, but rather will pursue a commonality that touches us all. This is the position from which I am poised to deliver our valedictory address. For though a singular voice may echo to the walls and through the rafters, it is given continence through the hundreds gathered here. This is our collective word, the compounded effects of the impressions we have left on one another. Irrespective of program or department, we all share a common bond, our destinies having been woven in part by this great institution. In the course of our academic pursuits at UWE, we have earned and been gifted with many things, both tangible and intangible. Tangibly, we have earned the letters on our degrees, diplomas, and certificates. Two, we have gained expertise in our respective fields, appreciation of theory, analysis, and application, the art of expression through writing, the nature of critical thinking, and the dance of group project dynamics. Among the intangibles would be that ever elusive greater maturity and the lasting relationships we develop with others, with implications both ordinary and legendary. However, beyond the easily discernible, there exists another intangible, existing in common, a forge for a great network. Why to illustrate it visually? I would see it as a thread of energy linking me to the graduate seated first and continuing to the last. This thread would have been here when we arrived, a connection left by those who assembled here yesterday, as we will leave a connection for those who have come this evening. The distinctive nature of this thread analogy is that we are all connected to one another, through each other. Graduands, ask any professional to detail the benefits of building a network of professional contacts, and you would surely not be disappointed on hearing of the gains of such efforts. However, I would caution you not to characterize this by the oft-quoted, it's not what you know, it's who you know. That phrase, with its implication that your talent and achievements are unimportant, is far from the full truth. Rather, I would utilize a modification which would say, it isn't who you know, but who knows you and knows what you know. And all it takes is the first familiar cue in an encounter to create the awareness that would lead to knowledge. To build a network of true majesty is a journey that requires a lifetime. It is said that every journey begins with a single step. But even preceding that, is the decision to embark upon it. 
Each person you add to your network is a journey, a decision to walk together from a common beginning along a shared road. By entering UWE, by pursuing your own professional development, you have already decided to make these journeys. And in reaching this milestone that is graduation, we have a common starting point. And we have that thread, that persistent bond that links us all now who stand at that common starting point, ready to embark on this journey that can be made as many times as there are people joined to this thread. Who knows you and knows what you know? Because who knows you is not limited to those you call friends, sit with in class, or have labored with on a project. A familiar face from class, a known character from SAC, someone you recall from the library or a student organization, they are on the same path, and our shared connection is all it takes to encourage that first step together. The person who knows what you know starts with those here today and extends to everyone who has come through these halls and knows what it took for you to earn that certificate. Every graduate here is but one familiar cue from being able to take that first step toward knowing another. So I encourage you, fellow graduates, to take advantage of the opportunity that UWE has presented to us by gathering so many professionals in our formative years. Know your fellows. Develop the connections that will prove mutually beneficial now and later. When you make encounters in the future and learn of this shared background, use it to forge new professional ties. And remember that though the class of 2010 is indelibly linked to each other and to those we have interacted with in our academic journey, there exists a larger group to which we are also linked. Through you, we organize social events. Through our alumni association, we can interact with a wider world of graduates. I encourage you to do so, so that your quality will be known by those who have come before and those who are still to come. For though the class of 2010 could fill every square inch of floor space in this hall, joined with all others, our numbers could block out the sun. And who wouldn't appreciate being able to stand in the shade? I will end in a manner similar to how I began. To the Chancellor and distinguished members of the Platform Party, we salute you for building this great institution. Your efforts constructed the road on which we have journeyed these past years. To our lecturers, other academic and administrative staff, we thank you for guiding us on our journey thus far. You created the signs that guided our way on this path. To our families and friends, we love you for the support that has allowed us to soldier on. You are the torch bearers lighting the road, without whom we would stumble and fall in the dark. Now, fellow graduates, in the spirit of the common bond we share, let us together build new roads, navigate new paths, and light the way for one another when we, as one, continue on our great journey. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you.